Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of the song The Merry-Go-Round of Life from Howl's Moving Castle. So let's get into it. So for this arrangement, we are in standard tuning and you need to put a capo on the second fret of your guitar. And the reason I'm using a capo on the second fret is because some of the chords that I use in this arrangement become slightly easier to play higher up on the fretboard because you don't need to stretch as much when you're playing higher up. And also the action of the guitar gets lowered slightly, so it's a little easier for some of the beginners out there who are trying to learn. Also all the tabs for this and all my other arrangements are available on my Patreon page. If you want them, check out the link down below, it really helps support my channel. So I've divided this song into a few parts, let's start with the intro, which sounds like this. So here we start off with this chord. So here we are just holding the 5th fret of the G string and the 5th fret of the B string together with a bar with the index finger like that. So you are holding the G string and the B string together and on the right hand you are plucking the G and B strings together like that. So there while still holding on to this chord with the bar you add these two fingers. So you're adding the ring finger on the 7th fret of the G string and the middle finger on the 6th fret of the B string. And you add them both together like that while holding the barred part like that. And on the right hand again you play the G and B strings after adding. So all together you get this. And after that you let go of these two fingers so now you're back on the first chord. You play the chord again the G and B strings. Then you add the second part again, play it again, and just like that you repeat. So you play this part three times back to back where you're adding and subtracting the second chord, but you have to hold on to the barred chord, the first chord that you played the entirety of the time. Like that. You're just adding and subtracting the second chord while holding on to this. So all together again you get this. And then you have this part. So here you change to this chord where you're holding the 4th fret of the G string with the middle finger and the 3rd fret of the B string with the index finger. And on the right hand you play the G and B strings together just like earlier. And then you add this part. So here you're adding the 5th fret of the G string and the 5th fret of the B string. The G string you're playing with the ring finger and the B string you're playing with the little finger. And I'm still holding on to this part of the chord while playing the second chord. Just like you held on to the bar that you played previously. And again just like the previous part you played three times back to back where you keep adding and subtracting the second chord. I'll do that again. So all together from the start you get this. And then you have this part. So here you have this chord where you're holding the second fret of the G string with the middle finger and the first fret of the B string with the index finger. So on the right hand you plug the G and B strings together and then you change to this chord where you're basically sliding this shape up two frets. So now you have the fourth fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string. It's the exact same chord shape. You're just moving it up. And again play the G and B strings together. And you go back and forth three times just like earlier. Like that. So all together again from the start you get this. And then you have this part. So you start by playing the open B string first. And then you change to this chord where you're holding the third fret of the D string 
and the second fret of the G string, the third fret with the middle finger and the second fret with the index finger. You plug the chord, the D and G strings, plug them together like that and after plucking you slide down while still holding on to this shape, you keep this shape and slide down one fret like that. So you plug the chord once and then slide down. So all together you get this. So from the start. And then you have this part. So right after playing this part, you keep holding on to that part of the chord and now you just add your ring finger onto the note on the second fret of the A string like that. So now you have a full E major chord. And on the right hand you play it like this. You play the low E string first which is open, and then play the A string, then play the D string and then the G string. And then you plug the open B and the open E string, high E string, together. Like that. So that's the whole intro. I'll play the whole thing once again really slow. It sounds like this. After that we have the second part of the intro, it sounds like this. So we start off by playing this, we play the note on the 2nd fret of the D string first, then the note on the 2nd fret of the G string, and then the 5th fret of the G string. So all together you get this, and make sure you're playing the last note with your ring finger. Because after that you need to change to this chord which is a D minor 9 chord. So right after you reach this note, you have to add the rest of the fingers for the chord. So you have to play the note on the 5th fret of the A string with the middle finger, the 3rd fret of the D string with the index finger, the 5th fret of the G string with the ring finger and the 5th fret of the B string with the little finger. And on the right hand you play this, where you're plucking the A string, D string, G string and the B string together with a roll. Like that. So all together. I'll do that again. And right after the roll you have this. So there you're plucking just the bass note first, the A string. And after that you're plucking the D string, G string and the B string together. Plug them together all at once like that. So all together you get this. One more time. I played from the start. And then you have this part. So here you're changing to this chord which is an E7 chord. So you need to hold down the note on the 2nd fret of the D string with the middle finger, the 1st fret of the G string with the index finger, also the 1st fret of the B string with the index finger as well with a bar. So I'm basically holding 
the first fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string together with the bar like that. And also you need to hold the note on the third fret of the B string with your little finger. So the reason you're barring over there is right after you play this chord and then change, you have to lift this finger up. So you need to play the note on the first fret of the B string, which you have to hold with the bar from the very beginning. So if you hold the chord correctly, it should sound like this. Second fret of the D string, first fret of the G string and third fret of the B string. On the right hand, I'm plucking the D, G and B strings together. And then you do this. So there you're lifting your little finger up to play the note on the first fret of the B string. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this. So there you're playing the open B string. So on the left hand you're removing the bar. Like that. So all together from the start you have this. And then you have this part. So right after you played the part on the E7 chord, you change to an A minor chord. So here you have the 2nd fret of the D string, 2nd fret of the G string and the 1st fret of the B string. On the right hand you plug the open A string and the B string together. Then you plug the D string and then the G string. Like that. And while still holding on to the chord you have this part. So here you're basically plucking the G string, then the B string, and then the open high E string. And then you change to this chord. So here you're basically barring the 5th fret of the guitar, starting from the A string all the way up till the high E string. And you need to hold the note on the 6th fret of the B string with the middle finger. So on the right hand you start by playing this. We're plucking the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together. And then you do this. We're plucking the G string and then the high E string. Like that. And then you have this part. So here we have a G major 9 chord. And to hold this chord, you need to bar across the 3rd fret, starting from the low E string all the way up till the high E string with the index finger like that. And you also need to hold down the 4th uh, fret of the G string with the middle finger and the 5th fret of the high E string with the little finger. So on the right hand, you plug the low E string, G string, B string and the high E string together while holding the chord. And then you have this. So after you plug the chord there, you let go of the note that you're playing with the little finger. So now you have the note on the third fret of the high E string which you're holding with the bar. Like that. You play the high E string there. And then you have this. Where you're adding your little finger on the sixth fret of the B string and playing that note. I'll do that again. And then you change to this chord, which is basically a C major 7 chord. So here you need to hold the note on the 3rd fret of the A string with the index finger, 5th fret of the D string with the ring finger, 4th fret of the G string with the middle finger, and the 5th fret of the B string with the little finger. And you also need to hold the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string with the bar with the index finger like that. So on the right hand you played this. Where you're plucking the A string, G string, B string and the high E string together. And right after you plug the chord, you have that where you're plucking the G string and then the B string. So all together.
and after that you have this. So there again you're plucking the G string, then the B string, and then you're plucking the high E string while holding on to the same chord. So again just to recap you have this so far from the start. And then you have this part. So right after that C major 7 chord, you're changing to this chord here, where you're plucking the 4th fret of the D string and the 7th fret of the high E string together first. And then you're bringing in these two, the 5th fret of the G string and the 5th fret of the B string. You're plucking G and B strings together. And then you're changing to this. So you're basically changing the position of the little finger from the 7th fret to the 5th fret of the high E string and you're playing that note. One more time. And then you have this. So there you have this chord where you're barring the 2nd fret with the index finger starting from the A string all the way up till the high E string like that. And you have to play the, you have to hold the note on the 4th fret of the B string with the ring finger and the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string with the middle finger. So on the right hand while holding this chord, you have to plug the A string, the B string and the high E string together. And then you do this. Where you're lifting this finger so now you have the second fret of the high E string which you're holding with the bar basic this note basically and then you're bringing back the note the note on the third fret of the high E string and you're playing that again so all together you have this And then you have this part. So there you change to this chord. Where you're holding the 2nd fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the high E string. You're plucking the D string and the high E string together. Then you're plucking the G and B strings, both of which are open, together like that. And then you have this where you're playing the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string while the G and B strings are still ringing like that and then you have this part so here you just need to hold down the note on the 2nd fret of the high E string with the index finger like that and on the right hand you plug the D string which is open and the high E string together. Then you plug the open G and B strings together. And then you play the open high E string. So all together again from the previous chord you have this. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. So here you have this chord which is a C add 9 chord. So you need to hold the 3rd fret of the A string with the middle finger, the 3rd fret of the B string with the ring finger and also the 1st fret of the B string with the index finger because you're lifting this finger up to play the note on the 1st fret there. So on the right hand you play the A string, the open G string and the B string together first and then you do this 
where you're playing the first fret of the B string after lifting this finger up and then you're playing the third fret of the B string again like that and then you have this so there you're changing to this chord where you're barring across the second fret starting from the A string all the way up till the B string with the index finger and you're holding the note on the fifth fret of the B string with the little finger. On the right hand you play the A string, G string and the B string together first. Then you change to this note on the second fret of the B string. Play that. And then you play the note on the second fret of the G string which you're already holding with the bar. Like that. So from the previous chord again you have this. And then you have this part. So there you just need to hold on to these two, the note on the second fret of the D string and the second fret of the G string. On the right hand you start by plucking the low E string and the open B string together. Both of them are open like that. And then you have this. Where you're plucking the D string, then the G string and then the open B string. And then you change the chord to this, where you're basically lifting this finger up and now you have the first fret of the G string with the index finger. So there on the right hand you're plucking the low E string which is open and the first fret of the G string. So all together you have this. And then you have this little part. there while holding the chord you're basically playing this so you're playing the open B string first and hammering on onto the third fret of the B string you can do this with your ring finger also if you want if that's easier for you and then you're playing the first fret of the B string and then the open B string after that like that and then you're ringing the chord again the low E string, D string and the G string and after that you're again playing this so again you're doing the hammer on onto the third fret then the first fret of the B string and then you're playing the open B string and then you have this so you have the second fret of the G string then the first fret of the G string then the third fret of the D string and then the second fret of the D string. I'll do the whole thing again really slow. that's the entire second part of the intro I'll play the whole thing again from the start it sounds like this After that we have an A section, I've divided it into two parts, we are going to call it A1 and A2. So A1 sounds like this.
So here we have the same kind of main idea, but the start and the end is a little different. So we start off by playing this. So on the left hand we are holding an A minor chord where we have the 2nd fret of the D string, 2nd fret of the G string and the 1st fret of the B string. So on the right hand you start by playing this. So first you plug the open A string and after that you plug the G and B strings together two times like that. So the first time you plug them together and then slightly mute the chord by lifting your fingers up while keeping your fingers on the strings to mute the chord like that and the second time you plug the chord and it's slightly longer than the first time so the first time around it's shorter because you're muting and the second time you're holding it for a little longer like that and after that you have this so here you're basically changing the bass note to the D string, the second fret here. So first you're plucking the D string, then you're plucking the G and B strings together just like the last time. So all together you get this. And after that you play this. So there again you're playing the open A string first and then you're doing this part where you're plucking the G and B strings together two times and then you have this. So here you're basically playing the D string, G string and then the B string. Like that. So all together again from the start you have this. And then you have this part. So here you're changing the chord to this, which is another way of playing D minor 7. So here you have the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. You're sort of just changing from the A minor chord, you're just lifting this finger up. So you're basically removing this note from the A minor chord. So on the right hand you played this, where you're plucking the D string, G string, B string and the high E string. D string there is open and the high E string there is also open. You're playing that with a roll like that. I'll do that again. And then you have this. Where you're playing just the D string and then you're plucking the G, B and high E strings together. One more time. So all together from the start you have this and after that the next part is exactly the same as what you played earlier in the second part of the intro. until this point and after that you have this so here the ending is slightly different so here you're holding this chord where you have the second fret of the D string and the second fret of the G string and first you plug the low E string which is open and the open B string together and then you plug the D and G strings together two times like that I'll do that again and then you have this so there you're just adding your index finger onto the first fret of the B string so now you have the A minor chord again and you're just playing this where you're plucking the D string then the G string and then the B string so all together the last part there sounds like this So 
So that's the entire A part one. I'll play the whole thing again from the start. It sounds like this. And after that we have the second part of the A section which we are going to call A2. So it sounds like this. So we start off with the part that you already know because you've played it earlier. You already know it up until there. And then you have this part. So here you're basically doing this special kind of bar with the index finger which is called a cross bar because you're holding the note on the second fret of the A string and the first fret of the high E string with the index finger like that. So if you're holding the bar correctly, if you play the A string and the high E string, it should sound like that. So on the right hand you need to play this. So here you also need to keep your little finger on the third fret of the high E string and your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the high E string because you're going to pull off from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret. So what you're going to play will sound like this. So first you plug the A string and then you play the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string and pull off to the 2nd fret. And then you play this where you're lifting this finger up and playing the 1st fret of the high E string and then you're playing the second fret of the high E string again by bringing this finger back in. Like that. So from the last chord it sounds like this. And then you have this part. So there you've played this before on the last part where you're playing the 2nd fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the high E string first. Then you're plucking the G and B strings which are open together. And then you're playing the 3rd fret of the high E string. So all together again. And then you have this part. So here you just need to hold the note on the 2nd fret of the high E string and on the right hand you play the open D string first then you play the note on the high E string and pull off to the open high E string and then you play this where you're playing the 4th fret of the B string and then the open high E string like that. So I'll do it from that previous chord again. So you have this so far. And then you have this last part. So here you're switching to this chord where you're barring with the index finger on the third fret, starting from the A string all the way up till the B string. And you also have your little finger on the 5th fret of the B string. So you start by plucking the A string and the B string together. And then you do this. So you lift this finger up and play the 3rd fret of the B string which you're holding with the bar. And then you hammer on onto the 5th fret of the B string with the little finger. Like that. 
and then you do this. So you're playing the third fret of the B string there, and then you're playing the fifth fret of the G string. So all together. One more time. And after that you have this. So there you're just moving this shape one fret down. So now you're barring across the second fret from the A string all the way up to the B string. And your little finger is on the fourth fret of the G string. So you first plug the A string and the G string together. And then you do this. Where you're plucking the note on the second fret of the B string. And then you're hammering on onto the fourth fret of the B string. With your little finger like that. So all together you have this. And then you have this part. So here you have the second fret of the D string and the first fret of the G string. And on the right hand you start by plucking the low E string and the high E string, both of which are open together. And then you do this. So here you are plucking the D and G strings together first. Then you are adding the note on the second fret of the G string. And you are plucking the D and G strings together again. Like that. And then you have this part. So you plug the low E string and the B string together, both of which are open. And then you plug the D string and the G string together. And then you plug just the D string. So you get this. So all together from the start. I'll do that again really slow. And after that you have this part. So here you have this chord shape which is exactly the same as a D major chord shape. You have the 4th fret of the G string the 5th fret of the B string and the 4th fret of the high E string. So you start by playing this. You plug the low E string first which is open. Then you plug the G string, B string and the high E string together like that. And then you add your little finger on the 5th fret of the high E string. And you plug the G, B and high E strings again together. Like that. And then you have this part. So there you're lifting your little finger up and now you're holding the note on the 7th fret of the high E string while holding on to the chord here. And on the right hand you play this. Where you're plucking the low E string which is open, the G string, B string and the high E string all together. Like that. So you're plucking the low E string, G string, B string and the high E string together. And right after that you have this. So right after you plug the whole chord, you let go of this finger. So now you have the note on the fourth fret of the high E string again. And now you plug the chord, the G string, B string and the high E string. And then you play this. So you're letting go of this note and you're playing the open high E string there. Like that. I'll do that again. One more time. So that's the whole second part of the A section. I'll play the whole thing again. It sounds like this. After that we have the next part which we are going to call part B. It has two halves, the first half and the second half. We are going to call them B1 and B2. So B1 sounds like this.
So we start off with this part. So here we have a G7 chord where we need to hold down the third fret of the low E string and the first fret of the high E string. So on the right hand you play the low E string, the open B string and the high E string all together. After that you play the open G string and then you play the open high E string. Like that. And then you have this part. So here you add your little finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. So now you are holding the 3rd fret of the low E and the 3rd fret of the B string. On the right hand you play the low E string, open G string and the B string together. And after that you change and play the 1st fret of the B string, just that note. So you use your index finger to play that. And then you play the open B string. So all together from the start. And then you have this part. So here you change to a C major chord where you're holding the 3rd fret of the A string, 2nd fret of the D string and the 1st fret of the B string. So on the right hand you plug the A string, the open G string and the B string all together. And then you do this. So there you're adding your little finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, playing that note. And then you're playing the open high E string. So all together you have this. One more time. And in the end you just play this. Where you're plucking the 3rd fret of the A string and the open G string together. Like that. So all together you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you start by playing the open high E string. And then you change to the G7 chord again. Where you're holding the 3rd fret of the low E string and the 1st fret of the high E string. So again on the right hand you start by playing the low E string, open B string and the high E string together. And then you do this. We're playing the open G string, then the high E string. And then you have this. So there again you start with this chord where you're holding the 3rd fret of the low E and the 3rd fret of the B. On the right hand you plug the low E string, the open G string and the B string together. And then you do this. Where you're playing the 1st fret of the B string with the index finger. And then you're playing the 3rd fret of the B string again. Like that. So all together. And then you have this part. So there you're switching back to the C major chord and you're playing this. Where you're plucking the A string and the open high E string together. And then you do this. There you're plucking the B string and the open G string and then the A string. So all together from the start, so far we have this. After that we have this part. So we start off by playing this. So we play the open high E string first. And then you do this. So there you are plucking the low E string and the open high E string both of which are open together. And then you are doing a hammer on on the second fret and pull off to the open high E string again like that with the index finger and then you have this part so there you're playing the fourth fret of the B string 
and then you're playing the open high E string again. And then you have this part. There you start off by playing the third fret of the high E string and the open low E string together. Plug the low E string and the high E string together. And then you do this. Where you're playing the second fret of the high E string, then the open high E string. Just like that. So all together from the start. And then you have this part. So here you have this chord which is a portion of a B major chord. You need to bar across the 2nd fret starting from the A string all the way up till the high E string with the index finger like that. And you also need to hold the note on the 4th fret of the G string and the 4th fret of the B string. On the right hand you play this. So you start by plucking the A string and the B string together. Then you plug the high E string. And then you do this. Where you're plucking the A string and the G string together. So all together. One more time. So again from the previous chord we have this. And then we have this part. So here we are playing the open B string first and then we are switching to this note where we are holding the note on the 7th fret of the high E string and on the right hand we are plucking the low E string which is open, the open B string and the high E string together. And after that we have this. So right after you pluck this chord. You play the note on the 7th fret of the high E string again. And then you do this. So there you are plucking the low E string and the 7th fret of the high E string together. And then you are doing this. Where you are playing the 5th fret of the high E string and then the 3rd fret of the high E string. Like that. So all together again. And then you have this part. So the last note that you played earlier was this. And after that you change to this chord. Where you are barring across the 2nd fret starting from the A string all the way up till the high E string. And you are also holding the note on the 5th fret of the high E string with the little finger. So on the right hand you are plucking the A string and the high E string together. So you have to kind of make the change right after you play the note on the 3rd fret. Like that. So on this chord you start by playing the A string and the high E string together. And then you have this. So there you are lifting this finger up. So now you have the 2nd fret of the high E string. And then you are placing your ring finger on the 4th fret of the G string like that and playing that note. And in the end you are just playing the bass note, the A string, the second fret there. Like that. So again from the previous part you have this. Then you have this part. So right after you reached this point on the previous chord, you play the note on the second fret of the high E string. And then you change to this chord. So here you just need to hold the note on the fourth fret of the high E string, and on the right hand you're plucking the low E string, which is open. 
the open B string and the high E string together. So I'll do it again from the previous chord. And after that you have this part. So right after you plug the chord, you play the note on the 4th fret of the high E string again. And then you do this. So there you are plucking the chord again, low E string, B string and the high E string. And then you are doing this, where you are just playing the 5th fret of the high E string and then the 7th fret of the high E string. So all together again. One more time. And then you change to this chord. So here you are switching to an A minor chord where you have the 5th fret of the G string, the 5th fret of the B string and the 8th fret of the high E string. So you are playing the 5th fret of the G and B strings together with the index finger like that and you are playing the 8th fret with the little finger like that. And on the right hand you play this. So there you are plucking the open A string and the high E string together first and then you are doing this. We are plucking the D string, then the G string, and then you are playing the bass note again, the open A string. Like that. So all together. So if you play it again from the previous chord. So that's the whole first part of the B section. I play the whole thing once from the start. It sounds like this. After that we have the second half of the B section which sounds like this. I'll play it from the last chord of the previous section. So right after you played the last A minor chord from the previous section, then you have this. So there you are playing the open high E string first and then you are changing to a D major chord. So there you have the 2nd fret of the G string, 3rd fret of the B string and the 2nd fret of the high E string. So here you pluck the whole chord all together. So you are plucking the open D string, G string, B string and the high E string together while holding the chord. And then you have this part. So there you play the note on the 2nd fret of the high E string. Like that. And then you do this. So there again you are plucking the whole chord all together. And then you are playing the 3rd fret of the high E string. And then you're playing the 5th fret of the high E string. And as you play the 5th fret of the high E string, you let go of the chord. Like that. So all together you get this. And then you change to this chord. So now you have this chord where you have the 3rd fret of the low E string and the 7th fret of the high E string. Now for some of you that might be a little difficult to play because of the stretch. So make sure you are moving your thumb back down the neck so that you can stretch. It will make it easier rather than keeping, it, keeping the thumb up there. So move your thumb back down the neck. And another thing is you can try playing closer to the fret wire instead of 
you know fretting the note in the middle of two frets like that play closer to the fret wire so that way you have to stretch a lot less and it becomes easier so while holding the chord you're just holding these two notes no bar here so you play this on the right hand so you plug the low e string and the high e string together and then you have this where you're playing the open b string open g string and then the third fret of the low e string like that so all together from the start you have this and then you have this part so there you're playing the note on the fifth fret of the high e string with your ring finger and then you're playing the note on the third fret of the high e string with the bar with the index finger like this from the chord basically like that so while playing the chord for the first time you don't have to bar while playing this part and after that you bar so that your index finger reaches this note and frets this note down i'll do that again like that and then you have this part so here you're changing to this chord so you're basically barring across the fourth fret starting from the a string all the way up till the high e string with the index finger like that and you're also holding the note on the seventh fret of the b string so on the right hand you plug the a string g string and the b string together and then you do this where you play the sixth fret of the b string and then the seventh fret of the b string like that and then you have this part so here you bar across the second fret with the index finger starting from the low e string all the way up till the high e string and you also hold down the note on the fifth fret of the high e string with the little finger like that so you start by playing this you play the low e string and the high e string together then you change to the third fret of the high e string and play that note and then you play the second fret of the high e string like that so all together you get this and then you have this part so here you're basically repeating this idea that you played earlier this is the exact same chord shape and you're playing that so you're barring across the second fret starting from the a string all the way up till the high e and you're also holding the note on the fifth fret of the b string on the right hand you plug the a string g string and the b string together and then you do this which is basically you're playing the fourth fret of the b string and then the fifth fret of the b string so you get this and if you play it from the last two chords then you have this part so here you're changing to this chord where you're holding the seventh fret of the low e string the seventh fret of the b string and the seventh fret of the high e string and you played this so you're basically playing the low e string and the b string together first and then you're playing just the high e string like that and then you have this part there you're changing from this chord to this one now where you're holding the notes on the 10th fret of the G string 10th fret of the B string and the 10th fret of the high E string and it's the 10th fret of course if you count from the capo so there you start by playing this so there while holding the chord you play the open D string and the high E string together first then you plug the G and B strings together and then you play the note on the 8th fret of the high E string. So you remove this finger and you hold the note on the 8th fret of the high E with the index finger and play that. Like that. I'll do that again. And then you have this. 
So there you have to add your little finger on the 12th fret of the B string. The 12th fret if you count from the capo of course. And on the right hand you plug the open D string and the B string together first. And then you play just the G string. And after that you lift this finger up and play the 10th fret of the B string which you are already holding on to with your ring finger there. So all together. One more time. So if you add this with the previous part. And then you have this. There you're just moving your ring finger down one fret to the ninth fret of the B string. And you're plucking that with the open low E string. So you're plucking the low E string and the B string together. Like that. Like that. I'll do that again. And then you have this part. So here you start with this chord shape where you have the 12th fret of the B string, you're holding that with your ring finger and the 10th fret of the high E string, you're holding that with the index finger. And on the right hand you plug the B string and the high E string together. And then you do a hammer on and pull off with your little finger on the 12th fret of the high E string. Like that. And right after the hammer on and pull off, you change to this chord. Which is basically the same shape, you're just moving it down two frets. So right after you move it down two frets, so now you have the 10th fret of the, high, uh, of the B string and the 8th fret of the high E string. You plug the B and high E string together. So just so that it's clear, I'll play it from the last chord once. And then you do this. So you ring the low E string again, just play that with the thumb and then you do the same thing, the hammer on and pull off and now you switch one fret down, you move one fret down to the ninth fret of the B string and the seventh fret of the high E string and play the chord. So all together again from the start. And then you have this part. So there again you're playing the low E string which is open and then you're changing to this chord shape where you have the 6th fret of the B string and the 5th fret of the high E string. You're plucking the B string and the high E string together and you're doing a hammer on onto the 7th fret of the high E string and you're pulling off immediately after that. Like that. And you're switching this chord shape down one fret. Now you have the fifth and the fourth fret of the B string and the high E string. Like that. So all together again from the start. And then finally you have this part. So there again you play the low E string first and you switch to this chord which is basically the previous shape. You have the third fret of the B string and the first fret of the high E string. You play the chord, the B string and the high E string together. Do the hammer on and pull off onto the third fret and then you play the open B string and the high E string together. So all together again from the start. So that's the whole B2 part. I'll play the whole thing once from the start. It sounds like this. And 
and after the B section you play the A2 part again but the very end is a little different. you play the low E string and the high E string just like before and then you just play an E major chord so here you have the second fret of the A string second fret of D string and the first fret of the G string like that and that's the ending so now you know all the different parts to play this song. Now let's discuss the song structure. So you start with the intro, you play part 1 and then you play part 2. After that you have the A section, you have A1 and A2. Then you have B1 and B2. And after that you play just the A2 part with the ending with the E major chord. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. And a very special thanks to all the people who are supporting me on my Patreon page who make it possible for me to continue making these videos. And also all the tabs of this lesson and all my other lessons are available there on my Patreon page for the members. If you want to join, check out the link down below. It really helps support the channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.